physical and chemical changes lessen for kids. What makes a melting cube of ice different from burning wood or leaving an iron nail to rust? In all three examples, the objects change in one way or another. The ice melts into water, the wood turns to ash, and rust slowly forms as a reddish-brown substance over the nail. So what's the difference? In chemistry, you'll learn about two ways through which matter can change, physical changes and chemical changes. We'll examine how each of these changes are different from the other in this video. The main difference between physical and chemical changes lies in what happens to a substance's chemical makeup or its composition. A substance changes physically if its form is altered, but its chemical makeup remains the same. Melting ice, for instance, is an example of a physical change. Recall that ice is simply water that froze into a solid in temperatures below zero degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When ice melts, the water returns to a liquid form without any change in its composition. In the same sense, when you split a chocolate bar or add sugar to your tea, the form of these substances might have changed, but their chemical composition has not. Now let's take a look at chemical changes. Matter changes chemically when its composition is altered in some way. You might remember that chemical reactions alter the composition of its products, creating other types of substances. Therefore, a substance has to undergo a chemical reaction to cause a chemical change. Burning a log causes the wood to chemically change. The heat from the fire and oxygen from the air reacts with the wood, converting it into ash while also creating carbon dioxide and water vapor. A chemical change also occurs when a nail rusts. When the iron in the nail is exposed to air, it can react with oxygen in the air to form a new substance called an iron oxide, otherwise known as rust. If you enjoyed watching this video, remember to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.